conditions, and therefore this prospect of them overwhelming the yeah. budget and uh, the economic resources here in the United States by handouts would be eliminated. So but here's a question I wanted to ask you. So right now, under present immigration law, the mass German, Italian, Jewish, Irish immigrations would not have been possible, right? Yes. And so nobody disputes that these mass immigrations were great for the country, right? Well, they occurred within the time frame we were talking about earlier in which there was not either the large welfare system that we currently have or the capacity to vote for federal largesse. It was pre-Wickard v. Filburn, the federal role was limited, uh, the government was extremely small, the depression had not yet uh, kicked the welfare state such as it existed into overdrive. Okay, so uh, I think your point is uh, well taken. Uh, you can't let a, a lot of uh, foreigners come in and then overwhelm the welfare state with handouts. I think something like that's happening in Europe. But I gave you a solution. Just uh, sure. ma make it conditional. But I don't uh, believe, as I said, that there is the public appetite either to deny welfare to uh, those who would benefit from open borders or indeed to deny the vote. If we look at the current situation, we are largely discussing not the legal immigration system, which does need work. I am a beneficiary of it. Uh, we are largely discussing a population of between 11 and 20 million illegal immigrants. In other words, those who broke into the country. Now, as a legal immigrant, that act annoys me, I must confess. But uh, either way, uh, those who have come here illegally are nevertheless the beneficiaries of a great amount of pressure to give them citizenship. This is what we are currently arguing about. But it's the up to you. That, sorry, it's up to you and me to persuade uh, the people. But we're not. We're not but, doing a good job. Well, that's but that also is first at the root to get rid of the welfare state, and secondly, uh, until we get rid of it, if we're going to have a rational, compassionate immigration policy, we should let people in as long as they we there is condition that they cannot take welfare handouts and. A lot. There is already a lot of legislation on the books to guarantee that and have people sign and uh, you have to send in financial statements of the per this person sponsoring. Right. A lot of people don't know this and it's very expensive and difficult to get uh, in here in the United States legally. So if you if they just enforced those provisions and if you want you could put more provisions and for the same purpose to make it easier to enforce, you solve this problem. Until such time as we've won both of those arguments, in other words, return the government to a limited state and um, enforced a bright line between those who come here to work and those who can vote and therefore affect the existing policy, I don't want to open the borders. If we can do that, and I understand what you're saying about we're not doing a good enough job convincing people, uh, maybe not, but that nevertheless is the case. We are not doing that job. Until such time as we do, I can't endorse any sort of change because it's just going to put more pressure on a system that is already creaking. Okay, well, I'm doing my part to convince him, and I hope you're doing your part. It was fun interviewing Charles. Of course, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>